Hey guys, and welcome back to the game. So, as you can see, I am on... Uh, well, I'm in Pandemonium. In the tab under Evolve, basically, you... Um, they, it levels them up. I'm pretty sure I've said this before. So, I, I wanted to record it. So, I've been leveling and leveling and leveling... Um, the demons like crazy, so I could finally, finally get one of them to six stars. And six stars is the max, if I uh, remember right. <laughs> finally got five of these guys to sacrifice. So I'm going to... I chose Ose. So we're going to evolve him. Uh, let's turn up the volume. I forgot that I don't have it on. Okay. All right. We're confirming. <gasps> Yay. It's my first six star. Now he's a level one again, so I have to level him up. <laughs> oh. Yay! This is exciting, and I got gems for it. Awesome. Alright, cool. Um, let me back out. Oh, okay. I, I wasn't sure if I needed to plug him in, but, yeah. Finally unlocked him. I finally got... Let's see. Oh. Let's get a story. I finally took the time to finish chapter 6 because chapter 7's out. Look at that. Alright. I, I completed it a few days ago. So I heard that if you completed it before, what, the 20th or whatever, you, you got, um, you would get rewarded for it. If I remember reading right. Anyway, I think there's a new summons. They introduced a new class called Reapers. Uh, this is the second of the bunch. I didn't do the first. I wanted to, but I didn't. So we'll just have a look and see what's being offered. Okay. Take down, oh, take enemies down with you, with Yaxi, she, she, whatever. Um, so if Ixtab, I guess that's how you say her name, dies, then maybe the enemy that attacked you gets taken down? I don't know, that's kind of interesting. Prevent bonus turn occurrence with Law of Health. So, turn occurrences like from the D2s that you use? Hmm. Oh, all of them are going to be there. Oh, not all of them. It seems like majority. Okay, cool. Um... Pretty cool. I'm going to do something real quick. No way. Actually, yeah, let's just go ahead and exchange these. That way I have some level 3s, and then I'm going to do a summon, because I don't want them, I don't want, I don't want the featured summons to go into my, uh, where I keep my demons, so I'm going to fill it up.
Because they'll just take, uh, they'll just take up space. All right, I just needed one. Okay. All right, anyway, now that that's out of the way, let's see what we get. Are we going to be lucky? I don't know. All right, got a face tap. Um... Okay, I can definitely use that for leveling up. Oh! Oh! Uh, Mute Tundi. Here's a single party member of Mute. Binding Cry. Uh... I don't like yellow. Oh, another one? I think of the same color. Oh great, another mermaid. Red one. Zanma. You're useless. I can use him to level this. Otherwise you're just useless. Okay. Um... Resist mute. That might be useful. Oh. That's nice. What's wild guess? Oh. Meh. Get out of here. Oh, wonderful. You're useless. Uh, useless. Oh, I like that null light. Is she weak to light? Hmm. Don't know. Let's take a look. Okay, she she currently resists light, but she can null it. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm using her though. But I just might. I don't know. Jeez, uh, I don't know. I like that no light, but it's not transferable. It sucks. It sucks big time. Alright, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and look at our gift box real quick. Mm, I'll have to... Look at that in a minute. Yep, there's a Christmas event going on. I guess I can show you that, but I'm not gonna do the I'm not gonna do the story. I won't show you the story. I'll just show you where I'm at. Yep, there's my parchment pieces. You know what? Since we're here, why not? I'll show you me like accepting things. do very much. And nothing special, it's just a lot of grinding. And I'm very stingy when it comes to uh, gems and uh, basically any kind of currency in a game. I, I'm just very, very stingy. We'll go to the social tab because I haven't been in there in a long time. So I'll go ahead and show you. So, 12.20, day I'm recording. Uh, let's see. When was the last time? We may go into November. Might have been that long since I've... Yep. It's been that long since I've been in this tab. I guess we can see how much fame I've accumulated. Oh, that's over a month. That's... A month and a day's worth of fame. Let's see how much I've got within a month. 
11,500. Not that bad. I bet I don't do very much. Um, let's go to hideout because I want to see. Ah, darn. Okay, well, here. Let me show you guys how close I am to ranking. Wow. I am that close to ranking, and once I do, I will show myself do an ultimate summon file. Ah, uh, I'm so close. Okay, so we have seven days left for Santa's little hell her. <laughs> so it started on the... Uh, I can't... Well, I don't know when it started. Uh, a few days ago, I've accumulated 2200. Still not a lot. Um, the Christmas version of Mr. Frost. <laughs> So, um, the only difference between these two is nothing, except one is a thousand and one is two thousand. Yeah. So if you want two, you're gonna have to come up with three thousand. And I'm not even there yet. I've been kind of slacking. <laughs> um, two nights ago, my oldest child took my phone while I was sleeping and messed with it. She had so many apps running. She had my Facebook on. And when I clicked to see, to clicked on Facebook, it was on a video that she uh, liked. Unliked it super fast. I don't even know what the video was because I was too freaked out about it. I don't know what else she might have done on my Facebook. I was not happy about that. She went on Google. She went on Google search. First thing she searched was The Handmaid's Tale. Don't know how she did that. I don't watch that show. <laughs> I don't care for those kind of TV shows. But that was the first thing she looked up. And and then it was a whole bunch of gibberish. And then um, a few tabs of what I had um, looked up before. Previously. And... She took two pictures. I use Maxthon. So she took a picture of her foot and leg along with a knockoff Lego block. And put that as my profile picture on Maxthon. I never bothered to um, do a profile picture on Maxthon. So, I had to, I had to choose another picture for the profile, since she decided that that's what, um, my picture should be on my browser. <laughs> it, oh my goodness, I, it was, I was getting close to five, and... I couldn't find my phone anywhere. Uh, the middle child was um, sleeping where my husband sleeps. And the oldest was at the foot of the bed laying there. So, um, I... So, if, if I remember right, I had the light on so I could see better and see if I could find my phone. Well, uh, 
I woke, I don't think I woke the middle child, but I woke, I, it woke up uh, my oldest and I asked her, where's my phone? She walks out, comes back with my phone. She hid it in her room and had the flashlight on. My battery was at 25%. It, it, I think it happened like, I don't know when it happened, like when she took my phone, but it was long enough for um, my battery to be that low. Because I make sure it's at 100% before I go to bed. Since I have a child that wakes up free... Well, she doesn't wake up. I have to wake her up. Um, during the night for feedings. So I need my phone. And sometimes I put a timer on so I can wake up and feed her. So... I realized it was... It had been way too long since her last feeding uh, the babies so I had to hurry up and feed her after everything was settled down but I had to put my oldest to bed in her bed she was in a lot of trouble after that but last night my phone got taken again but it was the middle child. She must have seen the oldest take my phone and do stuff with it. So, I guess she thought, hey, I can do that too. And that she did. She took my phone while I was sleeping. We're just gonna uh, battle while I talk. How about that? So you're not just staring at nothing. Um. I don't expect a lot of success on this. I just went with a random thing. Anyway. So she thought um, she could take my phone. Just like your sister. I wake up. She's already awake. Who knows how long she had been awake for. She had, um, blocks. And other toys. She shoved a toy, uh, down her, like, night clothes. She likes doing that for whatever reason. Um... It, I had a feeling it was her that did it. My oldest was in her room sleeping. Like she hadn't um, got up at all. I looked everywhere multiple times and couldn't find my phone. I was starting to freak out since it was um, my only means of contacting people. I guess besides my computer, but it, it would be useless to get a hold of like my husband or something like or, or anyone like that. Well, I mean, if anything happened, how am I supposed to call 911, you know? You, you can't do that on a computer. I mean, I guess you could. And I used my computer. I had to turn my computer on. So I could see if I could call my phone. Skype? No, you can't. Because... They charge you. They charge you for it. 
Actually, I'm not going to use voice. Um, so, couldn't we use Skype? Looked it up on Google. I was like, hey, there's Google Voice. I can do that. No. No, I can't. Because if you want to do that, you need to verify with your phone. And guess what? Didn't have my phone, so... Couldn't do anything. So, my last resort was freaking out on my Discord server and getting someone to call my phone. My phone was on vibrate. So, I had to listen carefully. So, I got someone to call my phone. I went into their room first to make sure I didn't hear anything. Went to my room and heard buzzing. It was between my bed and the wall. I had I had to move a freaking king size bed to get to my phone. I was not happy. But it I want to say it's it wasn't as bad as um, the previous night, but it was a lot worse because it was hidden so well. So, because that stuff happened, I now know to take a look between my bed and the wall, but I just hope I don't have to do that again. I did not like that whatsoever. I have no idea what just happened. I took my eyes away for a minute, and there I go. My turns are gone. Oh, did I do? But, needless to say, I... sent them both to their room and closed the door. My oldest can open the door, so they're fine. It... That was the only thing I could think of. It was... It was two-ish in the morning. And the only thing I could do was that. Make them let them know that it was not a good idea to take my phone again. <laughs> I didn't like doing it because I like having my middle child in bed with me. But she took my phone, so she doesn't deserve to be in the bed for that night. And I need. Sure, she knew that it wasn't a good idea to take my phone. It was a no-no. So, yeah. I'm hoping tonight that it, it won't happen again. I'm really hoping it will not happen again. Because I I don't get enough sleep. I don't or I don't sleep as much as I used to before the baby. I wake up at least two times a night and I've been feeling more and more tired. Sorry, I'm yawning. That's, I guess, an example. Well, not an example. It's, it's proof. <laughs> this has not been a fun time. Dang it! I thought I clicked on the fire lady. 
Um, but yeah, it, I just don't need to fully wake up like that every night to look for a phone that my children are taking from me. So, yeah. It's definitely been interesting. And this morning, uh, my oldest, we were in the bathroom while I was brushing my hair. She told me her head hurt. Well, and that she wanted the thermometer. Well, I put my hand on her head and I didn't feel any warmth, so I shrugged it off. Uh, fast forward a little over 30 minutes from then. She still hasn't eaten her food. She's drank all her milk, but she did not touch her oatmeal whatsoever. She randomly throws up. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> I, I guess I got ahead of um, the story. She did throw up twice, but I remember um, she, she wasn't, she didn't seem happy. So, or no, she was upset that I didn't check her temperature, so I decided, okay, you look, you're looking kind of weird, so okay, go, go get it, and I will check it. I will check your temperature. I did, uh, we have, um, one of those thermometers you can put on the head, or in their ear, and stuff like that, so... I like to do the forehead and both temples to get um, around about uh, temperature. Just a low grade fever, like a hundred, around a hundred. Not not bad at all. So I, uh, so she goes back and you know throws up, randomly throws up. And then a few seconds later, she throws up again. And then... I, I don't... It's just like one thing after another. And now there's throw up. So... And it's on the couch. Almost all of it was on the couch with curdled milk. So we had to... Like, peel her clothes off. Because she also puked on her... Puked on the left... Or her, no, her right side. So, we had to do that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she didn't like me for this, but she was, you know, covered and throw up. So, I put her in the bathtub and put the shower on. She absolutely hates water on her head at all. So, she definitely did not like that shower. But I rinsed off um, any... Remains of throw up. And yeah. Uh, cleaned her up. Got her in a nightgown. She's only she's only eaten bread today, but that's fine. She didn't seem to want anything else. I had uh, snacks put out. For later, just in case I can't go into the kitchen while my if if I'm like feeding the baby or anything, I can't exactly get up without interrupting. <laughs> I just I just did it and <laughs> stay too. So yeah, that's my past two days. Uh, it's been very eventful. I wasn't planning for this video to be so long, but I guess I decided to tell you guys about what's been going on. Yeah, and dinner was a flop 
last night. I tried to do potato burgers. And the recipe was way too simple. Just too simple. It didn't provide enough instructions. So, um, the pan sear until uh, brown was just complete bull crap. It tastes good. I feel like it would taste better. It would taste better if I put extra spices or more spices it I wouldn't sit I told my husband and he said it sounds like a poor man's burger but <laughs> like and I guess basically it is if you don't have meat just season it um, good enough and you wouldn't be able to tell that much of a difference and we like potatoes or at least I do. I really like eating potatoes. But next time I'm probably going to try potato enchiladas. And there's two uh, desserts that call for the potatoes too. So that's going to be interesting. I really want to experiment with that stuff. I'm just so interested in it. So... Yeah, I guess I'll tell you guys how that goes whenever I make it. Uh, anyway, I have been rambling for too long, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!